you might be thinking, why everyone seems to be so creative? Do YouTubers, artists, musicians have some random power that helps them come up with new ideas? Well, let me tell you, nothing is truly original. And if you think you have a huge and revolutionary idea, chances are it's already been created you just didn't know. In this video, I wanna show you how you can be more creative and that you don't have to be a genius to be a creative person. What you have to be is a thief. Yeah, that's right, a thief, but not this one though. By the way, this video was inspired by the book, Still Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. It's a great book, I recommend it. Creativity is not something that you're born with. It's more like a skill, you have to get good at it. Every new idea is just a mashup or a remix of one or more previous ideas. The reason why you might think that all the YouTubers or musicians, artists, painters are creative is because they have their own experiences. They have their own memories, their own skills. We're all different. And that's what's gonna help you be creative because there's only one of you. It's basic math, my friends. Two plus two equals fish. No, but really, if you wanna generate some output, there's gotta be some inputs, right? This input is consumption. But be careful though, you have to consume in a way where you're actively looking for things that you can improve and implement on your own videos, on your own thing. For example, if you want to start selling a product, you have to do your own research, you have to see what's selling, what's not selling, and you have to be actively studying your competition, right? Just like any other business. If you want to have a successful YouTube channel, you have to be actively looking, consuming videos on people on your niche on other YouTubers who are doing the same thing that you want to do. And you have to, again, you have to see what's working, what's not working. Maybe you want to catch a trend and then look at your own videos and see what you can implement or your, what you can improve. You have to pretty much reverse engineer something that's working. You figure out who to copy and then what to copy. Again, look at videos from people on your niche and also videos from people you like watching, even though they're not in your niche. Look at what they're doing good, what they're doing bad, or what they can improve, and also what they're missing. And that's how you make videos your own. Again, a lot, a lot of input. And now, once you have a basic idea of what makes a good video or a good product, you have to find your own style. And also, watching a lot of YouTube, watching a lot of videos, it's gonna help you find your style because then you're gonna be like, okay, I like fast-paced videos, I like slower videos, I like, or maybe you want, you don't want to show your face. So you start making videos without showing your face or maybe you're pretty comfortable on camera. Here's my advice. And this is something that I'm trying to do with my own channel, make videos you want to watch. Because if you make videos you want to watch, chances are there's a lot of people who also want to watch those videos because it's something missing on other YouTubers. And this applies to pretty much everything else. If, you're, if you want to make music, make the music you want to listen to. If you want to write, write books that you want to read. And if you want to draw, just create the art that you want to see. At some point, you want to start creating some output, AKA your fish. But how can you be more creative, you might be asking. Well, one thing that you can do is to carry a notebook around everywhere you go, just, just like this one. It's pretty small and here you can write whatever comes to your head. Do sketches, copy your favorite quotes from your books have brainstorming sessions, but make sure you always have paper on you. This is key, this is essential. This is gonna help you record every idea that comes to your head. Okay, now, how you can actually be more creative. Just like I said earlier, there's only one of you in this world, even if you're a twin. Sometimes inspiration comes from new experiences. When you travel to a new place, you experience different culture, different food, different people, a new language. This is the only way, in my opinion, you can have good stories. Because if you're always doing the same thing, how do you want to have new things to say? This is why you want to carry a notebook or a paper with you at all times. So you can write down your thoughts. If you're against paper, there's always your phone. You can you can just quickly add a new note for your thoughts. Because yes, you might think you'll be able to remember later, but trust me, you won't. You won't be able to. It's happened to me many, many times. You're not going to remember. This article from the American Psychology Association recommends capturing new ideas, seeking out challenging tasks, broadening your knowledge, and surrounding yourself with interesting things and people to enhance creativity. Getting enough sleep is also a good idea. And finally, to wrap up this video, I just want to tell you, yes, you can be creative. Everyone can be creative, even if you think you can't. Because like I said, creativity is a skill, not something you're born with. And trust me, just like any other sport, you, you'll get better at it. If you want to make music, make music. If you want to draw, start drawing. No one is born being the best at it. It might take some time, but I know you can do it. 
hopefully this video helps you and thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye